Welcome everybody to video number four. This one's going to be all about mass. So what is mass, you ask? Well, it's the amount of matter in any object. And if you want to get into that a little bit further, let's talk about what matter is. Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. And that means you have something like a chair. Now what isn't matter? Something like a dream. So the lab equipment you're going to be using, which I'm still here at school, so this is your triple beam balance. And then this is also one of our digital balances that you're going to be using. Now the units for mass that you're going to use are grams. Those are the ones that our two um, balances use. Now the SI unit, or meaning the unit that all scientists use, the sort of international language of units, is kilogram, and that's kg. Oh, also a good picture down here, one kilogram is about a thousand grams. So we wouldn't want to use kilograms here in school because we're not going to be dealing with that much mass. So let's talk about the mass of solids. So to find the mass of a solid, you simply take your triple beam balance um, or your digital balance. You place whatever it is you're looking at here. So if you're looking for the pencil, and then you record it. Now you know you have to get this line to measure up. Hopefully you can see that. And once you do, you'll know how many uh, grams it is. Now, when you go to find the mass of liquids, you have to first find the mass of the empty container because you can't just take a liquid and stick it on here. It'll spill everywhere. You need to have a container. So you take the mass of the empty, and then you take the mass of the container with the liquid, and you subtract those. And that's how you find out the mass of your liquid. So is there a difference between mass and weight? Yes, there's a huge difference between mass and weight. Mass, we said, is the amount of matter, and that never changes, no matter where you go. However, if you are traveling out in the solar system, your weight can change because weight is completely dependent upon gravity. So where do you go to have different kinds of gravity? Well, maybe you'll go to our moon, or maybe you'll go to another planet. Our moon is about one-sixth of Earth's gravity, so you would weigh a lot less on the moon than you do here, but your mass wouldn't change. This is another great graphic that I thought worked really good. If you have a chance, I'd go ahead and jot this down. Here's a, a little clip for you from YouTube. I found uh, mass versus weight explained by two astronauts on the International Space Station. Hi everyone, my name is Nicole Stott and I'm a flight engineer with Expedition 20 on the International Space Station. And we're here today with you on the International Space Station and the Japanese Laboratory Module. Hi, I'm Bob Thirsk. I'm also a flight engineer aboard Expedition 20. The topic for today is weight versus mass, a heavy-duty concept. So what is weight? Weight is the vertical force exerted by a mass as a result of gravity. Weight also means the strength of the gravitational pull on the object. That is, how heavy is it? Weight is dependent on gravity. On Earth, in a 1G environment, an astronaut in his spacesuit would weigh 360 pounds. On the Moon, in 1 6 Earth's gravity, the astronaut would weigh 60 pounds. In orbit, he would weigh 0 pounds, because weight is dependent on gravity, and the effect of Earth's gravity is not observed. But what is mass? Mass is the property of a body that causes it to have weight in a gravitational field. The mass of an object is not dependent on gravity. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. And what is gravity? Gravity is a force that governs motion throughout the universe. It holds us to the ground. It keeps the moon and the station in orbit around the Earth, and the Earth in orbit around the sun. So summary time, this one's quick. Uh, define mass for me. You may want to include the definition of matter as well. What lab equipment are you going to use to measure mass? And how do you find the mass of a liquid versus a solid? And again, what's the difference between mass and weight? Thank you all, and I look forward to seeing you guys in class.